This is looking like a wash and no. Okay, so I just washed my hair, deep conditioned it, and I added my leave-in. I used the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. I am going to attempt to do my very first wash and go. A little nerve, a lot nervous actually, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the back to the front. I'm gonna keep my shower cap on so that my hair is still kind of, it's not, it doesn't dry out. And it kind of has that heat from being under a shower cap. So I've already applied the Kinky Curly Knot today and I'm just going to detangle one more time. And looks like I did a pretty good job going through with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. And then I'm gonna go in with my Denman brush since this one is a, what is it, a defining brush? The other one's really a detangling brush, so I'm gonna use them for what they are for. Okay, I got my water bottle because it's wet, but I don't know. I'm gonna start with a little section first. Okay. Going in with my Denman. Okay, now, I guess you're supposed to go with the Denman after you apply the gel. You have never used this before. Top is on. Taking it all off. It smells clean. Okay, so I'm going to take, I don't know how much to use. I feel like I'm gonna use the whole thing, but this is how much I took. That looks nasty. Going to apply it to the hair. I'm gonna put a little bit more on here. Okay. This is what we've all been waiting for. not doing it for me. Yeah, I think I'm not doing this right. I think I might not have been adding enough gel. I feel like this gel is so expensive, I don't want to use it all. Nope, it's still not doing it. Well, sort of. But not like when I've used other gel. Maybe my hair doesn't like this one. All right, that one's good. That one's good, y'all see that? Okay. Still not, not at its full potential. And y'all let me know if I'm doing something wrong in the comments below or if I can do something better. I mean, I've been adding more gel as I go on just because it feels like I don't have enough. Yeah, it's not getting defined at the top like I want it to. And I'm running my finger down, raking it from the very root to the end. And see, it's getting curly, but not at the root. I want it to be defined all the way down, but maybe that just comes with practice. So this is our first section, and I don't know. I feel like I could do better, especially with this $18 product. Ugh. Let me go upstairs and try to find my other gel and see if I could do it 
with that. Going to apply some water because my hair is getting dry now. I'm taking a big amount this time and raking it through. Okay, see, you see already, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, like these kind of curls. Y'all see that? I don't know, this just feels better. Oops. See that one? Ooh, that's so pretty. You see that? That is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we're gonna use this aloe because what's it called? Aloe and coconut water. Because aloe is very moisturizing. So maybe that I don't know, maybe it's not moisturizing enough, that gel. Now it might look different when it dries, but when it's wet, yes. So Look at that, guys. Okay, let's do the other side. That's not even one fourth of my hair. So, maybe one eighth down and seven eighths to go. I'm going to go ahead and detangle with the comb. Smaller section and then use my Alicia Leatherwood to further detangle. I like doing both because you got the wide comb to do the initial and then this brush has teeth that are closer together so it does like a better more thorough job of detangling. I get a big lump like this and then I apply it Generously, that's what it says, generously. And then I kind of rake it. And then it does this little thing, curls up. And you see how that's acting different even with um, this gel. So I don't know, I gotta figure out how to use the kinky curly gel, but not today, I'm not about to waste my 18 though. I spent $18 on that and it's not working the way I want it to, so I'm just gonna pause on that one today. Definitely give me some suggestions and guidance in the, the comments below. If you have type four hair or just natural hair in general, if you see me doing something that I can improve on, let me know because a sister needs some help right now. All right, so we got some curls here and I'm excited about that. And we're just gonna keep moving. So now I see how y'all be going through the gels like that. <laughs> My go-to style is a twist out, so I don't use this much gel. I feel the spirit of the laziness coming upon me. <laughs> I told y'all I'm gonna get tired of doing this halfway through, and I'm not even halfway through. Three hours later. Okay, so guys, I'm so tired. I still have more to do, but this is how the hair looks now. You can see the curls, it's kind of frizzy. I started doing bigger pieces, but as I got to the front, I tried to start doing them smaller again, but I hope you can see it the shot <sighs> I 
this was not for the week. All right, let's get this last little section done. Yes, curls, look at that. So freaking pretty. So I'm done. It's a lot of hair, guys. It's a lot of volume going on here. And I just don't know how to feel about this right now because I just feel like it's going to look so bad when it dries. But for now, it looks good. And we're, we might just have to end the video here because I don't want you guys to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh, but anyways, I will come back tomorrow morning. It is 11 o'clock. And I already know this is not going to have enough time to dry. I'm going to try to get a diffuser to dry it a little bit. And then I'm going to try to stretch it with uh, some bands to make it a little bit longer because... The shrinkage is real, but it's still cute. So in some places you can see it's really defined like here. Then you can see some of these curls like that, there. And then in other places it looks kind of frizzy, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to record the whole process of how I banned it because it's just taking so long to film this video that I just need time to do it myself without having to explain something but after I do it I'll probably come back in the morning and show you how I have it but I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you I provided some entertainment because this is looking like a wash and no Aww. I don't know I don't know I kind of like it I kind of like it. So maybe it's not a wash and no, but it's a wash and I don't know. <laughs> wash and go is not wash and go because it took too long. I would not, I, it's not wash and go. It's a wash and gel and comb and break and yeah, there, there's more to it. I don't know why it's called wash and go because I cannot wash my hair and go. I, I just can't. One eternity later. I'm just gonna wet this a little bit. Cause I don't like manipulating dry hair. Other girls be making this look easy. That's why I like using my swirly curly. I'm supposed to pull it. <laughs> I'm struggling, guys. Okay, this is what we got right now. It's kind of split in the middle, but we'll make it work. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be the final look. You see some curls here, we see some curls here. So we made progress. This is my very first wash and go. And it wasn't necessarily a wash and no, but it definitely can use some improvements. But I'm, I'm just happy that I was able to do it. It took too long to do, so I need to watch some more YouTube tutorials to figure out the perfect way and also just do it a couple more times because practice does make perfect so I'm not going to perfect something on the first time although I wish I could but I won't obviously did not and then also shrinkage is real so like look at the curl here and look how long it can go so my shrinkage is real your wash and go is not gonna look like Everyone else is watching go. Your hair is very unique. And you gotta embrace the uniqueness of you. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna wear it like this and I think it actually looks really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it served as some entertainment because I really didn't know what I was doing. I tried, but here we are. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell. They're over here to be notified whenever I post. And share this video out to all of your curl friends. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.